An earthquake buried all the secrets of Pizza Plex under a ruined building that we visited with Cassie to unravel the truth about what happened in this place. Hold tight to your flashlight and hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you won't miss our next FNAF videos. Here are 25 secrets of Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruined. Before finding Roxanne crushed by a crane, Cassie will pass by a table with plush toys of the main animatronics from the series, but with a particular detail. Glamrock Chica has no beak, Montgomery Gator has no legs, Roxanne doesn't have eyes, and Glamrock Freddy lost his head. A reference to the events of Security Breach, where Gregory ripped Monty's legs, Chica's beak, Roxanne's eyes, and Freddy's head. Much was speculated about Bonnie's fate in Security Breach, but finally, in Ruin, it was revealed what happened to this rabbit. In Monty's attraction, you can see a brief explanation of how the crocodile inherited Bonnie's guitar and replaced him in the band. Bonnie seemed to leave more or less on his own, but everything was a lie. If you manage to disable all the cleaning robots in the game, you can access a secret room where Glamrock Bonnie's brutally destroyed body is found. But the most important thing here are the green marks on his chest. Everything points to Monty in a fit of jealousy ending Bonnie to take his place and the story told in his attraction is a smokescreen for Pizzaplex visitors. If you pay attention when going downstairs during the first chapter, you'll see Tangle quickly hiding through a hole. This creature, which combines a bunch of animatronics from previous games, already appeared in Security Breach as The Blob and is the guardian of the depths of the pizzeria, and it seems that it currently dwells in the remnants of Pizza Flex for some reason. PlayStation players got a surprise when downloading the Ruin DLC on their consoles. The game's download image has been replaced with a crude drawing made in paint. Steel Wool Studios explained on Twitter that one of the company's co-founders drew it, and the development team liked it so much that they decided to keep it. This abstract drawing represented a chowder, which is like a kind of soup. It's not a totally random drawing and refers to the game poster that says Chica Chowder. It seems that besides pizzas, Chica is also a fan of soup. Oh yeah, and to top it all off, the game was internally called Chowder and not Ruin. If you explore Monty's Park thoroughly, you might find a glitch that leads you to a giant hologram of Montgomery Gator. If you look closely, you'll notice the image distorts, and underneath, you can briefly see Glamrock Bonnie. But that's not all. There's a secret room behind the hologram that seems to be a kind of shrine dedicated to Monty. In addition to many things related to the character, here are the legs that the animatronic lost in Security Breach. On the side of one of the pizzeria's arcade machines, you can see a drawing referencing the Joy of Creation, a fan-made game based on the FNAF universe, where we have to survive a night as Scott Cathon's family, the father and creator of the Five Nights at Freddy's series. The Faz Wrench is a powerful tool used to hack the Pizza Flex system and its animatronics. The curious thing about this device, and specifically the one Cassie receives, is that it hides a number on the back. If we flip it, we can read 3 95248. That's a reference to a secret code that appeared in one of the Five Nights at Freddy's three minigames. By the way, if you reverse this number, it becomes the hexadecimal code for the color purple, a nod to the purple man in the series. According to the tales from the Pizzaplex books, the Mimic used disguises to deceive its victims, and that's what we learn in the scooper ending of Ruin. If we manage to activate the four secret cameras throughout the adventure, the Mimic will appear in a mysterious costume to capture Cassie. It's a very strange choice, but it makes sense. The Mimic tried to look as much like Gregory as possible to fool Cassie. <laughs> For this, he used three costumes that were in the catacombs and made one that resembled the boy as much as possible. Unfortunately, it didn't work out and we believe the costume was much scarier than anything else. In some parts of Pizzaplex, we can find a kind of robotic sheep. It's not a discarded animatronic, but a nod to the logo of the game's developer, known as Steel Wool Studios, which is also a sheep. In addition to the FNAF 6 Pizzeria and Ruins, in Ruin, we can find the Robot Candy Cadet, one of the animatronics we could buy in Pizzeria Simulator that told stories. Here it also has a story to tell, if we manage to collect all the Faz coins, where it explains that a woman and a boy had a monster locked in the basement, being a metaphor for how Vanessa and Gregory locked the mimic in the depths of Pizzaplex. That's not all. According to the game's files, it's been revealed that Steel Wool Studios intended to add more FNAF 
have six references to the final stretch of Ruin, such as the Rockstar animatronics, but this idea was eventually discarded. The beheaded Freddy we encounter in Ruin is not the same Freddy who accompanied Gregory in Security Breach. This is known because the word prototype is written on the sole of one of his feet. Inside him is a gift that is possibly a fast watch very similar to the one Gregory got at the beginning of the game. Additionally, something very curious happens when you deactivate one of the Pizza Plex inhibitors and put on Vanny's mask. Freddy immediately disappears. Why? Apparently, the artificial intelligence system has no information about this prototype as it isn't in the database and is a test version. For this reason, it's impossible to recognize any element of the character. There is a theory that Freddy's hack and security breach could have deleted any information about this character, thus explaining why the mask cannot see the animatronic. Although you can't get too close, if you look closely at the beginning of the game, you'll see the destroyed statue of Glamrock Freddy in the background. And if you look just below, you'll find a pot with flowers. Getting close enough using special tools, you will see that they are white flowers, specifically lilies. These flowers are usually used to pay tribute to the deceased at funerals. So there are two possibilities. The first is that Vanessa and Gregory left the flowers to mourn the loss of Glamrock Freddy. After the events of Security Breach, Vanessa Gregory and Freddy successfully escaped, but it seems they had to return to lock up the Mimic, and it's possible that during that time, Glamrock Freddy ended up ceasing to function forever. To mourn his loss, Vanessa and Gregory left these flowers. Others believe that it's simply a tribute to all those who died in the pizzeria, and that Glamrock Freddy is still alive somewhere. In any case, these flowers could already be seen in the animatronics rooms in Security Breach, so they likely have some relation. So, who is Cassie? As we have learned from some game dialogues, Cassie is the daughter of one of the Pizzaplex workers, and her birthday is on the 11th of an unknown month. It seems she met Gregory the day she celebrated her birthday at the mall and became one of his best friends, as he was the only one who attended the party without abandoning it. Since then, a strong friendship formed, which the mimic took advantage of, posing as Gregory to attract Cassie and free himself from his prison. Cassie is a big fan of the animatronic Roxanne Wolf, to the point that at the beginning of the game, she reacts by saying cool when she sees a plush of her. Cool. Also, if you look at Cassie's nails, you'll see that they are painted green, a green that is exactly the same as Roxy's claws. On one of Pizza Plex's large screens, you can see a short video where Gregory is running from Vanny, a nod to the base game's adventure. In addition, Cassie will react to this video by saying the following. Hey, she's wearing my mask. Indicating that the mask Vanny is wearing is precisely the one she is wearing at that moment. The animatronic Moon hides different secret jump scares depending on the number of light generators we have activated during the tour. If you have none activated, this will happen. And if you have one or more activated, it'll react like this. To keep the Mimic imprisoned, Vanessa designed the MXES security system. Its guardian is an electronic rabbit capable of alerting the other animatronics to the presence of intruders. But what you may not have known is that this rabbit was gonna have a very different design. Initially, MXES was gonna be a kind of skeletal purple rabbit. Its appearance was gonna be much more terrifying. And alongside it, the security nodes were gonna have a much more organic shape before becoming the rabbit mask we find during the game. Both elements were discarded in the final version but remained within the game files. Some players point out that this discarded design is a nod to Popgo's, the fan game based on Five Nights at Freddy's which recounts the events after FNAF 3. On the way to the bowling alley in Chapter 7, you can find a secret room that holds a curious easter egg. It's the door that has the green star in front of it. Inside that room, there are a lot of circus baby flushies that'll disappear while laughing until the room is empty. In the room next door, we can find a lot of stacked slippers, including some that are huge. Does Music Man also bowl? In Security Breach, you could access a secret room where the hidden Balloon World arcade machine was located. In Ruin, you can visit it again, but this time the machine is completely destroyed. If you put on Vanny's mask, at least you can see the room a bit tidier, but the real secret is on the ceiling. If you look up, you can see Eclipse on the ceiling, which already appeared in the minigame itself. 
The Brazil ending is one of the strangest endings in Ruin. In it, Cassie takes refuge with Vanny's mask in a small corner of the catacombs, then imagines she is safe with Gregory, Helpy, and Vanessa. The problem is that this is all a lie, and Cassie remains trapped with a mimic. This ending is named Brazil as a reference to the movie of the same name, where its protagonist suffers the same fate as Cassie, imagining that he escapes from the chair he is trapped in when, in reality, he was tied up the entire time. In Pizza Flanks' Bakery, there's a hidden arcade machine with a game called Chica's Feeding Frenzy, where you can control Glamrock Chica shooting food at her enemies. If you manage to complete all the levels, you'll win Chica's beak and voice box as a prize. The best part is that later in the game, you can return them to Glamrock Chica as an Easter egg in one of the bathrooms. Princess Quest was the video game that kept Vanessa trapped under Glitch Trap's influence, but thanks to Gregory, she managed to escape with him and Glamrock Freddy in Security Breach's true ending. These arcade machines can still be found in Ruin, but one of them hides a little secret. If you put on Vanny's mask in front of Princess Quest 3, you'll see a golden sword stuck in it, indicating that it's been destroyed. And right on the wall, there's the monster that appeared in the game. Upon removing it, we'll see a rabbit shadow, indicating that the the beast that appeared in Princess Quest was none other than Glitch Trap himself. Before reaching the elevator at the end, the real Gregory tried to contact Cassie multiple times to warn her that everything was a trap. The first time is when Cassie meets Roxanne, and Gregory inadvertently interrupts them from afar. Gregory! No! The other time is through a cleaning robot, but it seems that Cassie won't pay much attention to it. Much has been speculated about the identity of the MXES system, but what we know for sure is that it was programmed by Vanessa. Judging by the discarded appearance it was supposed to have, MXES might have been an upgraded version of the glitch trap virus. Vanessa would have reused the code based on William Afton to create a new entity capable of mobilizing the animatronics and protecting Pizzaplex. This would explain why it still retains the form of a rabbit. When you slide down the tunnel leading to the Phaser Blast attraction, you'll see some AI-represented items, like a cleaning robot or even a Spring Bonnie plushie. But you need to pay attention to the sounds you hear. It's a bit hard to notice, but thanks to the game files, they can be heard more clearly. They are birthday songs sung by Glamrock Freddy and Roxanne Wolf. Happy Phasma birthday, pizza, games, and cakes. Open all your presents until your tummy aches. You are when you're older, on your special day. When this song is over, you'll be on your way. In fact, one part of Freddy's song is a reference to the meme of the boy beatboxing one of the Five Nights at Freddy's songs. <laughs> If you know any more secrets, leave them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our next adventures in search of video game secrets. Here we leave you with the latest ones for you to check out. See you next time!